2017 was an exciting year. Before we get into some of the things that we're going to see tonight, we want to do some business first, and that is to thank the people that have been responsible for this. Every year people ask, does Stevens really have judges, or does he do it all by himself? <laughs> if you think I can pull this off by myself, you're a state man, okay? There are a lot of people involved that we want to thank. The Masons, this stage, what can you say about this stage? I mean, the schools that are normally a gym, Joe Geiger on the lights, and we will never forgive if he ever stops coming. He is retired, but he donates his service to do this every single year because he loves what we do, and he's very impressed by it, and so he has never charged us a dime to do this. He does it because he loves us, and we love him for it. And it might sound hokey, but the biggest people to thank, to be honest, are in your program. You see advertisers in the program, you see sponsors of the awards, those are the people to thank, because if not for them, this would not happen. There's a lot of money that goes into getting the various awards, the medallions, the things that we do, and it all comes from the advertising paid by the sponsors in your program. Uh, we are taking the steps to become a 501c3 to try to change that, but in the meantime, they're the ones responsible for this, so make sure you thank them anytime you see them. With that being said, there is one other person I really need to thank. I am what we call technologically an idiot. So my wife, who is lovingly up in the organ loft, handles all of the PowerPoint, all of the different things you're able to see so the kids can see their faces 15 feet high and it's really cool. So with that, we are going to get started with 2017, the year on stage. Thank you. 
inspires, tell us who we did Applebee's, so we're feeding you too. I have lots of help. <laughs> and I'm very thankful for the help. I'm very thankful for Michael, because he stepped right in there and did a good job. Thank you. The next award started a few years ago, and they've turned into some of the more special awards we had. Terry Reed has sponsored them along with Winnesheck Playhouse down in Mount Carroll. Along with the award, Winnesheck Playhouse gives two scholarships to our Bright Star winners so that they can go to a summer stock theater production week over the summer this coming year. In addition, we want to also thank the Winnesheck Playhouse. They could not be here to help judge, but they already sent me the email. Of course, it was around 5 o'clock tonight when I was here. But directors, that's why I needed your email. They are forwarding over free passes for every single performer tonight to see one of their shows in the wilderness later on in June. So thank you very much to Timberlake Playhouse. <laughs> the Bright Star Awards deliberately go to underclassmen. They are designed to try to encourage them to keep working on their craft and to keep making themselves stronger in the theater arts. We have two winners. The first one, who has no idea, but definitely deserved it after learning a lead role in only two weeks. Aquins, Michael Giamo. trying to make this as a competition. And I always have to remind you that the Voice Awards are not a competition, they're a recognition. Every single one of our nominees stood out to the judges. Yes, we're going to get one an award and a scholarship, and thanks to your participation tonight with the money that came in from the people that paid to be here, every single one of our winners is getting a check for over $130. That's the most we've ever got. So while we will be giving an award to one, we ask and remind everyone, every single one of these nominees had a fantastic performance that stood out, and every one of them deserves our support and recognition. Our first category for scholarship is this one. <laughs> Leading actress, the nominees are Natalie Friedland, Aquin, A Child Shall Be. Ace Lake, Lena Winslow's 
Rousey Buffalo. And the SED2 shows got nominated twice. Ace the Light, Lena Winslow. The award for leading actor goes to Ace of Lane, Drowsy <laughs> The candidates for leading male in the musical. This one. The nominees are Tom Eden, Stockton, Mary Dyson Dolls. Christopher Hugo, Blackwood, Dyson Dolls. Whoops. Jacob Pacheco, EPC's music band. And Christopher Hugo, Blackwood, Dyson Dolls. The winner for leading man in the musical goes to. Jacob, would you all please welcome from their production of Guys and Dolls, Blackwood High School.
Oh, <laughs> 